Alright guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Boom Explosives Toolkit. So this is something I got a long time ago, never really used or installed. So it's for sale now, I think 8 bucks on the marketplace. I made a project so we can test it out in. I just wanted to open it there so I could get the price for you guys. I do have it in my library. I've already created a project and I've opened it up. So here's the project here. When you first open it, you're greeted with... A little demo scene kind of shows you all the different kinds of explosives so the barrels have three phases it looks like uh, you can make variations there's radioactive barrels and you can make your own custom ones some grenade examples I'm just gonna take a look at this click play so there's a standard grenade that's pretty cool gas grenade Oh, that's a cool effect. Cluster bomb. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Uh, so you can make your own. Not gonna waste any time with this waiting. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it also has the grenades can trace the enemies through the walls. It looks like. Uh, X-ray bombs. That's cool. So I guess it could trace the enemy through the wall. Okay, it can trace enemies through walls. That's really cool, too. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in here. What I'm going to try to do is implement this with my own project or a blank project. And then I'm going to base this on features, ease of use, performance, and value so we can give it a rating. So I've installed this, so I'm going to try to implement this with my project because this is its own project. So what I do is I'm going to go to the folder, show in folder, content, boom explosive toolkit. I'm going to copy this folder. I'm going to go to my project, which is the review tests. And I'm going to paste it. And then I'll wait for that to install. And I'm going to close this project out. And I have this one, which is just a base template on the zombie survival. Haven't tried this yet. It may or may not work, so we're going to find out together. So right out of the box, I hope there's a blueprint here for a barrel or something. Uh, explosive barrel, maybe? Sticky, toxic. Is that a barrel? That's a barrel. So I'm going to see what happens right away. I didn't do anything special. I can blow it up. That's a good sign. Does it give me damage? Uh, it does, but it doesn't. So there's a health regeneration on in this template. So that's probably throwing it off. So I'm just going to check here. I think I have health regeneration turned on. So health regeneration. I'm going to turn that off on my character just to make sure this is tracing damage correctly. Alright, so th this is an explosive gas barrel and it is tracing damage over time which is cool. So that works perfectly. I wonder if this will damage the zombies. If that damages the zombies that would be cool right out of the box. Because it, it just works. Which a lot of times you got to do a bunch of coding to make this work. But this seems to work right out of the box. I'm surprised. It's probably dealing any damage. So we'll get these guys chasing me. It doesn't deal a lot of damage though. So I'm going to see if I can amp that up. Uh, I should have moved that closer. I'll let them get right on top of it. So I can't tell if that's dealing damage or not. Because there's not enough explosive damage. So let's see if we can change this. Is there a variable in here for damage? No. Um, details. Damage. Uh, damage over time. Base damage. I'm going to put this up to 100 just because. 200. Put this up to 50. I just want to get this hurting everything in its path. So first I'll test it on myself. 
doesn't seem to really modify the damage. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong because I haven't used this before. Damage frequency, amount. Started damage cycle over time. So it doesn't start the overtime unless there's a damage of that amount. So I'll put 50. So I'll put 20 for the critical damage. That way 50 should do it. It's only dealing 2 damage per second. Hmm. Damage over time particle. Damage. Scale by distance. I just want this to work. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to get right back. Alright, so I played with the kit for a little bit here. I didn't want to bore you guys with it because I wanted to find out why it wasn't tracing explosive damage. So in the kit, in the examples, there's another thing called a toxic barrel, which is right here. So if I hit this one, it traces both the explosive damage and the overtime damage. So the difference between these two is the red barrel has something in the damage obstruction. So this is a seven point trace and it's not tracing to my character which I'll have to set up myself but inside the toxic barrel if I disable the obstruction check which it is by default if I do the same thing to this one right here you're gonna see that this barrel now deals the explosive damage that it should. So that's the, the thing you change right away. So I haven't tested this with zombies yet, so I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna test it with them. So that's the only thing I changed, was that one check. So hopefully this deals damage to the zombies too, and then that'll be insane. It'll just work pretty much out of the box by changing one setting. Which in my book is a win. So if this damages zombies, that'll be insane. Just a drag and drop explosives. And it looks like it hurt them, but it didn't deal enough damage to kill them. So what is wrong with that? Let's take another look. So the base damage, the zombies may have more health than what I'm giving the damage on explosion. So damage, I'm going to put this to 200 to see if that hurts them. Hopefully this destroys them. I don't see why it wouldn't. Maybe it's another check. It looked like it moved them. Maybe there was an impulse damage. Ah, nice. It did kill them. So you just gotta watch your damage amounts. I think I have my zombies health set to 120, so that's probably what it was. So yeah, this works pretty much out of the box. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. I think they have a, a three phase uh, system here where you damage this and it catches on fire instead of blowing up right away. So let's see, how much damage is required before this explodes? Explode on any damage, critical damage. Let's say a hundred. So my gun must be dealing a lot of damage, I guess. I know there's a way to make this, because I've seen it in the demo, where you hit it and it just catches on fire, then over time it explodes. But I'm not going to waste any time, I know it's there. I'm going to set up a couple of these to see if they'll do like a chain reaction effect. That'd be cool too. So I'll get these over here, I'll get the zombie spawner here. And hopefully this makes a chain reaction. I want to see if the explosion will carry over all of them. Actually, I can move these barrels too. That's cool. Well, you can roll them around. That's really neat. So hopefully this will blow everything up. That'd be really cool. 
I'm gonna check my frames to see what that does. Oh, that is crazy. So it doesn't hurt my frames. It's dealing all the damage. This is insane. You could do a lot of things with this. I see like being able to make your own uh, grenades. I'm just gonna pause the video and I'm gonna try to make my own grenade. All right, so I'm just gonna grab, I grabbed the, um, there's a blueprint I had made for some hand grenades inside this template. So if you guys need that, I'll post a link to it as well. So I'm just gonna copy that inside my third person character here. Third person character. Just because this doesn't have a grenade system built in. So we're just gonna make a quick one. So I'll paste this, confirm. And I'm gonna refresh all nodes. And then I'll have to make an input for grenade. Project settings. Input. Actions. Make a new one called grenade. Grenade. And I'm gonna just give it a G key. Use a G. Compile. Save. Hopefully I throw a projectile. I do, that's great. I didn't set up any animations, but I'm just doing this for something to try. It's probably not gonna blow these up because it's different damage, but. What I wanna do is try their, their grenades. They have a grenade system built into this pack and I wanna test those as well. So the boom tool kit. There should be some kind of explosive gas grenade. So yeah, the gas grenade right here. First off, I'm gonna check to see if this kills my character. It does. So, uh, set owner pawn. Vent any damage. Oh, it's because I closed it out before I let the damage finish, that's fine. I can put it in his valet there later. But I'm gonna use this gas grenade as my grenade. So I'm gonna select it here, go back into my blueprint. And in this blueprint somewhere, there is a spawn actor from class. Right here, I'm gonna change that to my explosive. I think that's the only place I have to do it. Projectile. I'm just gonna go with that. I may be missing something, but we'll see. So now when I push G, I should be able to fire these grenades. Ah, nice. So now I can throw these grenades. The performance is really good on these too. And they do damage to my character, which is really cool. Fire another grenade. Oh, that is cool. I don't have the damage set up on it yet. Probably enough to kill these zombies, but that is really cool. So, out of the box on this, I'm going to give its features definitely a 5 out of 5. I mean, you can do anything. Anything you can think of. You can make cluster bombs, whatever you want. Easy use. I mean, I just drag and drop this in, change the setting, and it worked entirely with this package. So, 5 out of 5 performance. I didn't lose any frames, even with multiple barrels. So, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5, and for... Probably about seven bucks, you're getting a solid package. If you don't have explosives in your game, this is gonna amp up your game for sure. Uh, I 100% recommend this one, this is insane. Getting a lot of value for your money, getting a solid explosives kit. I forgot about this one, I didn't, didn't test it out and I'm glad I did. I'll probably be using this in a lot more games now going forward. So, sorry for the confusion trying to get it set up, but you'll have an idea of where to start if you do pick this up on how to implement it into your product, or project, sorry. And I'll see you guys in the next one.